So, I have a question to ask you. Have you ever watched uh, a movie or an advert or maybe seen something online and you thought, you know what, I wouldn't mind knowing what that dress is or what that item of furniture is. Uh, maybe I could do with that rug in the front room. But what is it? Well, that's where Taggled TV comes in and Catherine's going to tell us a little bit more about it here at Culture Tech in Derry. And this is day two and it's still raining, but <laughs> that's okay, we're covered. Hey Catherine, how are you doing? Right. Not too bad at all, yeah. So I'm, like you said, I'm with the Taggled team um, and we're a great wee team of people that are helping people shop through video. So um, we're really engaging with what we're calling video commerce, so e-commerce, um, and taking shopping to the next level. And not just that, but helping bloggers make money from their own content and what they're most passionate about. So at the moment, we're working directly with fashion and beauty bloggers. So people who are talking about what they love and teaching other people how to do the things that they love as well. Um, and through Taggled, we're allowing people to earn a commission back on any products in their videos and then also sharing information through that as well. So it's very simple. It's absolutely free for everybody to use and you can start earning money straight away from it. Okay, so let's take a step back. So prior to Taggled, how did people go about finding the items that they saw online? Okay, so a lot of the time people will have to pause their video, go out of their window, go into Google, because Google has the answer to everything, and start searching it out. Um, and text and numerous to just really find what you're looking for. And a lot of the time it's the exact item that you're looking for, or it's sold out. So now with Taggled, that you can find out directly whether that item is still available or how you can get it as well as close by as well. I mean, it's such a simple concept. Um, you've got to have other people trying to do the same thing. Is that right? Absolutely. There's people all over the world that are doing this. Um, but what we were doing differently is that we're going right to the ground and we're going with bloggers and bloggers and talking to them, whereas a lot of other companies are talking to the big farms. So we want to have that connection with the people who are talking about what they love and sharing what they love. Your strategy is really to work with smaller players in order to gain share and hopefully to make the Taggle established in the market lead. Absolutely, and I mean, we want to have those relationships. That's way more important than getting out there and, and getting these big names in because the big names are listening to these people and they're not just little people in their, in their list. These are people that have real influence over people all over the world. London, in LA, in Paris, and all over the world are watching their videos. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the tag company, where are you based, how many of you are there? We have five of us in the team, we've got three absolute genius programmers. Um, one of them is our um, illustrious leader, Ian Scott, um, and Ian has been doing bespoke software design for the last 15 years, um, and he came up with this idea a few months ago and really just fell in love with it and realized that there's a real market for it um, and he's put everything into that now and working on it full time. Um, we've got two other programmers, Graham and James, and they're just and they can do anything and um, they, they learn as they go as well, which is really nice to have people willing to learn. Um, and then we've got Andrew Fulton, who is our just star star guy, he's um, 19 years old and he's already in all over the world selling Northern Ireland and selling the tech here um, and he knows what he's talking about and really excited. And then there's just me, but um, I'm marketing. Oh, come on. <laughs> you, you can't refer to yourself as just you. Well, no, um, I've been working for a long time with a new tech in Northern Ireland. Um, started my own business. I moved on to there and it's been going all around the world as well. So coming back now, I'm working at Tigal, us in the science park. Um, we're working with lots of different companies and really what tech in Northern Ireland really is. Okay, so on that, um, I mean, I did it today. to be honest, I <laughs> really quite impressed. It's a small town, 90,000, and we've got people coming in from New York and other parts of the world in order to be part of this. What is it about Northern Ireland that makes it attractive for technology businesses to set up? I think it's the passion. Um, Northern Ireland and Ireland as well has always been known for its culture and its passion for everything that it does. So um, I think it's people come together and we and we like welcoming people here. Um, and it's been really great, especially over the last year with the study of culture, that everybody all over the world has seen exactly what we have to share here. Um, and then with tech, um, we've got some of the brightest minds in the world here. We've got the Classic University of Ulster, Queen's University, and so many of the regional colleges that are really sending out the, the top class people involved in tech and art. 
And I've also I've had a conversation with a few people and there seems to be a lot of public money that's available in order to help startups. Absolutely. I mean, there's everything from SIF funding, there's um, government grants, um, and there's an awful lot of support in general, even just within the community. People are able to connect and share that information. Fantastic. So over the next three months, a year, what, what are we expecting? So the really exciting thing about to Las Vegas in January and then we're going to launch. Um, so it's really exciting to be going out there sharing something that really works and having people being involved at a really early stage. Sounds like an expensive jolly to me. Absolutely. It's going to be a lot of hard work, so n <laughs> no hard. That's what everybody <laughs> says. <laughs> well, we really mean it here in Northern Ireland. We all work really hard. And <laughs> over the last couple of days as well. I, I have no comment on that. <laughs> okay. Um, Catherine, thanks very much for joining no us. All the best with Taggle. There you go. Catherine Morris of Taggle TV. Uh, we'll be coming back to you probably in interviews with other founders, uh, movers and shakers from Northern Ireland who are going to tell you exactly what they're involved with. So we'll see you back soon.